December 1st, 1955. On that day, Rosa Parks boarded a bus and took a seat. A few stops later, she was told to give her seat to a white passenger who had just boarded. She refused. For those who insist that a moment be pinpointed when the American Revolution of 63 began, that moment will serve. When Rosa Parks decided to stay seated in December of 1955, I was two and a half years old. I know that what Rosa Parks did made a huge difference in my life. The conventional wisdom about her is, oh, this was just a woman who got on the bus, she was tired, her feet hurt, she didn't want to get up. But that does not take into account her incredibly amazing political consciousness. She was part of a community of women activists at local colleges who were organizing to take on segregated buses. Rosa Parks sat down on the bus and began what we know today as American Civil Rights Movement. Rosa Parks actually galvanized a people for change. Rosa Parks had the discipline and the consciousness and the awareness to be able to be the person to represent African Americans who were trying to make a difference. And when Rosa Parks makes her stand, she became an icon for change. That's something that started with the spark from this woman that grew into a local bus boycott, that grew into a national consciousness. It made most Americans who care about liberty and justice realize that this way of life had to end. Mark Twain is now thought of as America's first celebrity because he was so good at capturing the public imagination and it became important to him to have a public image.